Well, God's grace is just gonna take care of everything. Grace isn't gonna take care of it if you're not watching where you're walking, standing, or sitting. Stand to your feet with me this morning. If you have your Bibles, open them to 2 Timothy chapter 3. 2 Timothy, Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Hallelujah. This is what we believe. Amen. What a better way to start the new year than to confess what we believe. Amen. Amen. You got your, you got the scripture? Okay, now just repeat after me. All scripture, All scripture is, given by inspiration of God is given by inspiration of God and is profitable, and is profitable. To, let to let me know what's right. What's right. Let me know what's not right. Let me know, what's not right. Let's me know how to get right. Let's know how to get right. And let me know how to stay right. Let's know how to stay right. That, I might that I might be a man, be a man worthy, worthy of the calling of God. Of the calling of God. Amen. 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 All scripture is given by inspiration of God. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. God breathed. And it's for our admonition, our correction, our enjoyment, our fulfillment to tell me what's right. But most of all, tell me what's wrong. Amen. And if it's wrong, tell me how to get it right. And then tells me how to stay right. Amen. See, that's a great way to enter the year. If you know that, then every time you pick up a strip scripture, it's not hearsay. It's not fable. It is the word of God. And it's everlasting, never changing. Amen. It said when everything else is gone, the word of God, the word of God shall remain. So it's important. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, again, it's a good place to be on the first Sunday. Sister Mary Jean uh, is uh, recovering. Mary Jean never gets ill. She's not ill now. She's just being refreshed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I love that scripture. Uh, Usually what happens at the beginning of a new year is is a, a lot of people, and Jack even prophesied. Did everybody understand the prophecy that Jack just spoke over you? about being prosperous, bills paid off, income, raises, and all of that. He's really speaking a blessing over, over us. Amen? Amen? And through the years, we've had mighty men and women of God that have sensed God saying something in their spirit about the coming year. Amen? Amen? Everybody's heard some well-known evangelist or pastor say, you know, the Lord spoke this to me about the coming year. I just wrote down a a couple of them. Uh, 2016 is going to be considered the greater year. How many would say amen to that? Our brother uh, Jerry Savelle says, this is a year of breaking loose. How many receive that? I've heard a man say, this is the year of the great reversal. I heard another one say this, this is the year for the greatest restoration that's ever happened before. Amen? Those all sound good, don't they? Well, then how come we're not living in them? Amen. Amen. Open your Bibles, if you would, to Psalms number one. I love the Psalms. Psalms, number one, verse three, makes this statement to go along with all these these prophecies, even what Jack said, prosperity and wholeness and healing and debts paid off and healing and, and all of that. Verse three says, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, hallelujah, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season his leaf shall not weather, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Hallelujah. How many grab a hold of that? Hallelujah. 
But see, to get that, we got we to gotta read verse 1 and verse 2. <laughs> Come on now. Amen? All of these prophecies to be fulfilled, there's something that we have to participate in with the Word of God. Amen? Psalms 1 said, blessed is the man that watches where he walks, watches where he stands, and watches where he sits. And the people that he associates with. Amen. Amen. So before I can get to verse 3, to be like a tree planted by the rivers of living water, I've got to go back and say, well, God said, blessed is the man that doesn't stand certain places. Blessed is a man that doesn't walk certain places. Blessed is the man that doesn't sit certain places with the sinner, the scornful. Amen? And, 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 and the scoffer. So to put ourselves in a position to be, to be like that tree planted by the living waters, there's something I've got to do. I can't just sit back on God's sloppy agape or this, this grace that's going around. Well, God's grace is just going to take care of everything. Grace isn't going to take care of it if you're not watching where you're walking, standing, or sitting. Come on. Amen. Amen? How many understand that? The blessings of the Lord, and I like what it says. It says that the, he bringeth forth his fruit in his season. See, a lot of us are saying, Lord, when's my season? Well, you know, the, the, the season is up to the Lord. Let me, let me just see if I, can, if I can put this together. Bringeth forth his fruit in his season. And I believe it's a during a time when it doesn't look like it's his season. Amen? See, God chooses the season. There was a football game yesterday. And there was a team that was, had done good all year long and they had done more than anticipated and they were going to a bowl game. They're going to play in a bowl game and it's going to be it's going to be super. And they've got this quarterback. I mean, the man can walk on water. He is going to go to the pros. They are going to give him billions of dollars going to the pros. He's going to lead his team in the, in the bowl game. And boy, everybody's so excited. But the young man just does something stupid. And he doesn't get to play. And the whole team's counting on him. He's the rock. He's the one. But the, t the game starts and the, the hero ain't there. He got disciplined for doing something stupid. And so the coach looks on the bench and he says, it's your season. <laughs> hadn't played, someone told me he hadn't played a down in five years. <laughs> He's the sub. He's the sub. And the coach looks down the bench and says, this is the greatest game we've ever played in. It's the most important game we've ever played in. And he says, Fidel, get your helmet. You're going in. <laughs> Who gives his fruit in due season. Now, what we don't know about this young quarterback was every day at practice, he was there doing what he was supposed to be doing. Now, he hadn't played in five years. Come on now, stay with me. But he was blessed as the man. He went to practice. He played. He studied. He knew that he wasn't the best. He knew that that guy was out there, and as long as that guy was doing good, he wasn't going to get to play. But every day when he went to practice, he did the same thing. Because in due season, he was going to be fruitful. I just I saw that yesterday. And I'm telling you, when it was 31 to nothing, <laughs> I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this college, the, the, the fans, they were so looking forward to this game, and now they're getting blown out. National television. Everybody's watching. Everybody's watching, and it is 31 to nothing. And old Jack turned it off. Took a nap. 
Woke up and there was four and a half minutes to go in the game and I looked and I'm going, whoa, it's 31 to 20. Wow. Now see, at the same time, I'm, I'm going over my message for today. I'm going over. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. And the quarterback came in and led his team three overtimes and it's the greatest comeback in bowl history. This is the message. Blessed is the man that's ready for his season. See, your season doesn't come unless you're walking where you should be walking. You're standing where you should be standing. You're resting or you're sitting where you should be sitting. Always ready. Because see, you don't know the season. See, I've been through a lot of seasons. And so I'm saying, Lord, okay. Now this is what I do. I watch where I walk, where I stand, and where I sit. Amen. Because that determines what influences are going to be in your life. You know, we, some of us have some bad relationships that we just can't be around. You know, my wife, Mary Jean, she, she, she had a person like that in her life, and she asked the Lord. And she, saw, she said, Lord, how do I love them? I don't even like to be around them. And the Lord spoke this to her. He said, the best way you can love them is to be away from them. Where we walk, where we stand, where we sit. Those are really all places of authority. If I'm standing with someone that's a sinner, if I'm walking with someone that's scornful, are you understand what I'm saying? If I'm sitting with a with a an dollar, you know, are you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Those are gonna stop me because I want to get to verse three. I declare, I want to be like a tree planted by the rivers of living water. Amen. 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 That my leaf, I don't run out of substance, that my leaf never withers. But the best part of that is, whatsoever things I touch, I will be prosperous 24-7. I just, I got so excited for that young man because it was his season. But see, he was ready. Are you you understand what I'm saying? He was ready. He wasn't, his attitude wasn't, man, I hadn't played in five years. I I don't even know why I put on this uniform. I've been playing, I've been to this college five years and I ain't got to play it down. But that wasn't his attitude. He wasn't walking, standing, or sitting with that attitude. His, I don't know what his attitude was. I don't know anything about the young man, but I know he'll go down in history. You, they, you won't even talk about the guy that got thrown in jail and wasn't able to play the football game. Come on now. See, that, that guy's going to have to deal with, with, that, with that shame in his life. But it was, it was this man's season. And I believe his season happened because he wasn't walking, standing, or sitting Places that he shouldn't have been seeing. And the blessings of God came on top of him. Hallelujah. See, that's a good way to start the new year. What am I looking at? What am I hearing? What am I saying? Come on. Where am I standing? Who am I standing with? Where am I walking? Who am I walking with? And who am I resting with? Because it says a man that doesn't do it with the wrong type of people, but does it with the right type, blessed is he. Amen. See, Jesus, the Lord started off in Genesis 1, and he said, make man in our image. And he says, and he said unto them, he said, blessings on you. 
The Lord said, my blessings on you. My acceptance of you. I remember when I was uh, out of college and I went uh, to work for an insurance company and I'd been with them a short time and uh, they offered me a territory in South Texas and I could go to Corpus Christi and represent that company. Now, I'm a heathen at the time. But I, I, I remember that my boss, as he said, we're going to offer this to you and you're going to be our representative and this whole company will stand behind you. And I turned around and I said, whoa, that's a big company. But that man is blessing me with all that that company is. Are you understanding that? Yeah. See, when God blesses it, he's standing behind that blessing. And he said, all of this is with you. And even as a heathen, I thought, whoa, that's a lot of responsibility. And then they gave me a manual. And they said, watch where you stand. <laughs> watch where you walk. And watch where you sit. Because you are representing us. Amen. Are, you, are you catching that? Amen. That's what the Lord is saying to us. Amen. All of these prophecies... They're from God. The little bit that Jack talked about this morning, that is God's heartbeat. God wants that more than anything, and he gives us his manual, and he said, this is how they flow from my kingdom into your kingdom. Watch where you walk, watch where you stand, and watch where you sit. And you'll always have sufficiency and you'll be prosperous in everything that you put your hand to. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe that's a good way to start off 2016. Amen. Yeah, clap. That's good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Insanity, a definition of insanity is to continue doing the same old things you've done before, but expecting a different result. Amen. So we have to change some things. Me personally, my biggest change that I have declared for this year is to, is to extend to a greater degree my time with the Lord. In study, in prayer, and in meditation. And you know what? I had to purpose in my heart to do that. Yeah. I just didn't say, okay, Lord, I want to spend more time with you. And then act as if God's going to do that for me. No, I purposed in my heart to say, Lord, this is, this is, what, what, this is what I'm going to do. And I've purposed in my heart every day, usually in the morning because I'm a morning person, I purposed, I set it in my mind, I, 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 and I said, Lord, I'm going to spend uh, at, at least an hour in study, praise, and worship. There, you know, there's three things, acts, A, C, T, and S. A, adoration. C, confession of my sins. T, thanksgiving. And S is supplication, asking God for whatever my need is. A-C-T-S, adoration, just spending time worshiping God. Is, is everybody in a hurry? Come on, who's in a hurry all the time? Aren't you, you start something and you just, let's get it over with. See, my golf swing is that way. My, my, I, I'm, I'm, I want to hit the ball so fast. <laughs> they call me El Zorro on the golf course. <laughs> well, see, that's not, that's not good. That's not good. You, can't, you have to be patient. You have to swing slow and then come through. And when you do that, man, it's just so much fun. Amen. But, but I just, I want to go. <laughs> do you do that? You want to cook fast? You want to run fast? You want to get it over with? You want to shop fast? Isn't, ever, isn't that, that our, what we want to do? We want it quick right now. Yep. Yes. But I purpose, now I'm going to slow down. My golf swing <laughs> and my time with the Lord. Amen. Amen. 
Because prophecies to be fulfilled, they must be fulfilled. And my part in that is to watch where I walk, stand, and sit, and what I see, what I hear, and what I say. And when we do that, we're going to be like a tree planted. A good tree that's planted means it has a good root system, a deep root system. And the deeper the roots go, the higher and the more fruit that comes out of that tree. Are you understanding that? Amen? The, the deeper, the, you can't see the roots. I believe the, the roots is, is our time in private with God. When we're praying, when we're seeking his face, when we're adoring him, when we're giving him thanks for all that he's done, our roots, our roots are being settled. And they say that the, the deeper the roots go, the less that uh, pestilence can come against a root. You know, there are diseases that attack roots, but they're saying the deeper the roots go, the less likely they are to be struck with disease. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And the word of God says, we will be like trees planted. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I declare for this year, I'm a tree planted Amen. by the rivers of living water. What's the rivers of living water? A place where you receive nourishment. Amen. Get it, if, it, if it ain't this church, get it in the church. Amen? Amen. Amen. Like a tree planted by living waters Amen. whose leaf does not wither. Strong. When the seasons of life come, that tree is immovable. You see some trees that storm comes and they're still standing after the storm. And you see other trees, big trees, and they're blown over. And you know what, you know what to look for? You look at their root system. And you'll see that they were shallow, rooted trees. Oak trees, some oak trees are that way. There's, we've lost two or three in our yard because of wind. And when they, when they toppled over, the roots were on the top of the ground. But see, when we study, when we're in the presence of God, we get a good root system. Amen. Amen. Colossians 2, 7 says, rooted and grounded Amen. in the things of God. That's, my, that's what I want to do for 2016. Amen. Amen. Stand to your feet with me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We're going to end the service today. It's the first Sunday of the new month. We're going to receive communion in just a, in just a moment. Uh, I just think this is a great way to, uh, to have the first service. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. See, God did all of that for you and me. God said, I've made a way. I've made a way where there seemeth to be no way. See, we think that we're stuck. We ain't stuck. We, I'm not stuck. If I'm stuck, it means I'm not reading the Word of God. I'm not listening what the Word of God says. But the Word of God says, okay, Jack, if you're stuck, who you stuck with? <laughs> who you walking with? Who you standing with? And who are you resting with? Okay, Lord, I'm checking that out. Amen. You're going to be like a tree planted by the rivers of living water. Father, we praise you. We just thank you for this morning. Thank you for your word. I receive it. Lord, I'm excited about 2016. Things are going to happen that are extraordinary. Amen. Lord, you said that we are going to see things that have been stored up for us. We, we can't even imagine them. But Lord, I know it just doesn't happen. It has to do with seasons and times. But it also has to do, Lord with my stance, my position in the earth. Lord, thank you for instruction in righteousness this morning. Father, we praise you. We just thank you, Lord. I'm a hearer and I'm a doer of the word. And for that, I praise you and I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Thank you, Lord.